Hey everybody, I'm looking for a fellow villager. He said he'd meet me and tell me something, but I can't find him yet. Maybe he decided not to come. He said he could give us money. I want to make money. So right now, we need to find him. Mikey and I really need money right now. Well, whoa, hey, is that you? Yes, JJ. Hey, I'm the one who called you. You want to make money, don't you? I found the abandoned village. You and Mikey should go down there and videotape it. The more footage you get, the more I'll pay you. I'll send the coordinates to your phone. This looks like it's gonna be easy. <laughs> All right, me and Mikey will do your assignment. We know how to film, so we'll make lots of videos for you and take pictures. Hey, Mikey, we got a cool assignment. Let's do it soon and get a lot of money. Oh, a lot of money? I heard everything that you was talking about with Villager, JJ. I think we should go to that abandoned village. It'll be the easiest money of our lives. I've already got the car ready. I have to go upstairs and pack some stuff. And then we can go on our mission. All right, Mikey. I'll wait for you here. Don't take too long. Whew. I'm so glad we have a job. Now we're going to get there. We're going to walk around. We're going to film it. And then we're going to get paid. Sounds like an unbelievable miracle. Today's going to be great. Come on, Mikey. We've got to get in the car and go to that village. I want to finish this as soon as possible. All right, get in the car, JJ. But wait, do we know where we're going? I've heard of this village, but I don't know the way. Don't worry, Mikey. Villager already sent me where we're going. Get behind the wheel and I'll tell you where to go. Let's start the car. We've got a long way to go. We've got to get there before night falls. It'll be hard to film at night. You can't see anything. Woohoo! We're here, JJ. I think this is the place that villager was talking about. Did you bring your camera? Of course, Mikey. I certainly wouldn't forget her. It's the most important item today. We need to take as many pictures as possible. Let's start walking around and taking pictures of this whole village. I don't think it will take that long. Let's just get the job done and get out of here. Yeah, I'd like to get out of here soon. I don't like this village. I thought it would just be abandoned, but it's horrible. There's so much blood. I think something really bad happened here. We need to finish our work and get out of here. I'm afraid there might be monsters or something. Doesn't this place scare you? Mikey, of course I'm not intimidated by this place. I've heard so many myths about this place, but I know they're just rumors. So let's just walk around and take pictures. I'm sure there's nothing dangerous here. You just need to stop getting yourself worked up, Mikey. I realize this place may look creepy, but we won't be here long. We'll take pictures and then we'll leave. Or maybe I should just leave you here, Mikey. <laughs> JJ, are you out of your mind? You don't have to leave me here. It's not going to be funny because I'm really scared here. I try to distract myself, but this place still scares me. Do you have a lot more pictures to take? I want to get out of here right now. Why don't we lie about having done everything we need to do and leave early? No, Mikey, it's not gonna work that way. Villager asked me to take a certain number of pictures. Ho <laughs> oh, ho, Mikey, you don't seem so scared anymore. I can see that you're even friendly. That was a really good picture. I'm gonna keep it as a souvenir. All right, stop fooling around. Let's keep taking pictures. <laughs> We've got a lot of work to do. Can you please make a copy of this picture later? I want to put one of these in my house. It will remind me of this day. Okay, I'm not so scared anymore. Now we can hurry up and get our work done and get paid. Mikey, I've already photographed everything. Let's go to the other side of the village. We've got plenty more to take pictures of. Let's not waste time. It's getting late at night and it's gonna be hard to take pictures. Hmm, there's a strange grave here. It looks very suspicious. We haven't seen anything like it here. It seems to have been built here recently. Is this place really not abandoned? I don't know, Mikey. I took pictures. Let's not touch that grave and just do our job. Uh oh Mikey, why did you dig her up? You were scared the other day. Why are you acting so stupid? Stop fooling around. You're gonna make us sick for sure. Let's just leave this place. Hmm. Ah! Oh no! Huh? Oh my God, what was that? Mikey, I warned you. Why did you start knocking on her coffin? Oh my God, now we're inside the coffin because of you. I didn't know this was gonna happen. Don't be mad at me. It's not helping right now. Let's find a way out of here. We have to escape before that unknown monster attacks us. I'll search the boxes, take pictures of this place just in case, in case we can't escape and someone finds the camera and finds out what happened here. All right, let's start looking for something. 
We need to find some tools to get out of here. We can't just break this coffin with our hands. So we need to find something to help us get out of this damn place. Oh my God, I can't find anything. Mikey, did you have any luck finding anything in here? No, nothing yet. I keep searching the drawers. All I could find were cobwebs and a pile of dust. This coffin looks like it's been here for years. Maybe there's nothing here. You're right, it's a terrible place. That village seems so much better than that awful old coffin. I can't wait to get out of here and go home. But what was that creature we saw? It came out of that coffin, but I couldn't see it. Who was it? I don't know, JJ, but I have great news. I was able to find the iron tools. I found an iron shovel, an iron pickaxe, and an iron axe. Please tell me that's gonna get us out of here. I really want to get out of here as soon as possible. Whoa, Mikey, nice job. Looks like we were very lucky to have some iron tools in here. Yeah, that's enough stuff to get us out of here. I think we can start collecting crates right now so we can build a ladder to the coffin lid and get out. Great idea. But first we need to find something else in those drawers. There's got to be food in here somewhere. I'm really hungry. Let's eat first and then we'll get out of here. Without food, I'm exhausted. It seems we can take our time. The monster has forgotten about us and we can stay here without fear. Mikey, I don't think we're gonna be able to find fresh food here. So let's do it this way. We don't have a choice. When we get home, we'll eat together. JJ, how's that? Why is there no food here? I'm so hungry. I refuse to do anything on an empty stomach because it's hard to work without food. Good luck dealing with it on your own. I'm saying I won't help you. I will not work. Hold my ax. Huh? Mikey, what did you do? Stop whining. We got to get out of here. This isn't funny. Uh oh Mikey, that's the monster. Hurry up and hide. He can't see us. Mikey, what are you standing there for? Get behind the boxes. We have to hide from the monster before it attacks us. We're not ready to fight him now. Let's just try to get out of here. We've got to dig a hole. You're right. Let's find a secluded spot and tunnel down. That way we can get out of here. That monster can't catch us because it's too big. I know you're here. You walked into my trap, but it's your own fault. You woke me up. You made me angry. And after all this, you're trying to escape. Good luck. You'll never make it. Mikey, don't listen to him. He doesn't even know where we're hiding. He's just walking around. We have a chance to get out of this place. The most important thing is to stay out of his sight and go to that corner of that coffin. There we can make a tunnel and escape from this cursed place. The most important thing is not to make a lot of noise so that this huge monster will not notice us and decide to attack. JJ, I found the note. I'm going to read it now. This monster has superpowers and once you're in here, you'll never get out. But there's a secret tunnel in one corner. Once you get in there, you'll know the truth. Wow, I think there's even a fairy tale in here. Let's go find that tunnel. We have to find a way out. I found it. Hurry up and come here. It's a passageway to some strange room. Let's see what this place is. Stop right there. Where are you going? I'm gonna- Whew, that was close. He almost got me. All right, we're lucky we didn't get caught. Now we're in some kind of secret room and it looks so weird. There are so many calendars. I don't think we're the first guests here. This was someone else's room. Maybe the note was right. Once you're in here, you can't get out again. But I can't believe it. There's got to be a way out. Yes, JJ. It says here that this coffin is enchanted and to get out, you have to defeat this monster. But how do we do that? We don't even have armor. There are crates here. Let's try to look through them. Maybe we can find some equipment that will help us defeat this monster. I really hope there's something in here. We can't do it without stuff. And I really want to be free. We should check this one out. Hmm. Whoa, Mikey. I found the golden enchanted apples. We can use them to defeat this monster and lift the curse on us and this coffin. Come on, Mikey, you ready? We're about to do battle with this monster. We must defeat him once and for all. Only then can we get out of here and live a normal life. You're right. But where did that monster go? He was here. Hey, you, come out, let's fight you. We'll blow your brains out and get you out of here. Just show yourself. Come on, monster, stop being a coward. Let's fight. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, JJ, he seems to have changed. What's wrong with him? Ah! All right, Mikey, I don't think our equipment's gonna be enough to take on a monster like this. Why don't we try a different strategy? Let's try to negotiate with him. 
We'll throw away our weapons and tell him if he releases us, we'll never come back here again. I don't think we have any other choice. Okay, you're right, JJ. I hope this works. We're gonna try to talk to him now. Hey, monster, we got a proposition for you. Look at us. We throw away our weapons and we won't fight you, and you just let us go, and I promise we won't come back. You like that deal? You're really just gonna talk to me? I'm surprised. What? Usually everyone starts trying to kill me right away. Look, I'm impressed by your courage, and I commend you for it. I agree to your proposal. I release you from my curse, and you will never come to this village and disturb me again. All right, thank you. We're glad we got a chance to talk to you. Then talk to us soon. We're leaving this place, and we're never coming back. We're not telling anyone about what happened here. You'll be safe. Thank you, JJ. I wish you the best of luck. Each and every one of you I'm saving from my curse. You may now leave my coffin in peace. I hope to never see you again. Don't forget your promise, JJ. If you break it, you and Mikey will be very bad. Goodbye. I won't break my promise. You can be sure of that. Whoa, phew. Oh my God. Mikey, we've been freed. Woohoo! Okay, this horror is over. Oh, I'm so glad it's over. We're finally getting some fresh air. I'm so sick of running around in this coffin. Let's get to the car. Let's get out of here. We're never coming back here again. You're right, JJ. We're not gonna bother that monster anymore. We promised him and he let us go. So let's just go home and burn all the pictures we took. Let's lie to that villager and say we didn't find this place. It's better for us. Yeah, Mikey, that's a good idea. I didn't think it would be such a dangerous adventure. I don't care about the money anymore. The most important thing is that you and I stay alive and life is more valuable than any money. Remember that forever, Mikey. Let's go home and get some rest. It's been a crazy day, but it's been fun. Bye-bye. <laughs>